Hello friends, James Stevenson back with another quick video this time uh, about the Bitcoin impairment charge that Tesla will have to take in Q2 2022. I'm joined by my co-host here uh, as I was last week. This is Loki. Say hi to everybody at home, Loki. Uh, also uh, a little programming note here. Maybe the production quality is a little bit higher this week with the new Sony ZV-1 camera that uh, I purchased for this channel. Uh, it cost uh, a little more than I've ever made off of my Patreon plus the Cash App plus the YouTube uh, money. So uh, hope you like the camera. Uh, hope I look less like a White Walker from Game of Thrones uh, in this video. All right, let me share my screen and walk you through how you would calculate how much the Bitcoin impairment charge is going to be if you wanted to estimate it. So I will share my second screen here, which you may be accustomed to seeing if you've seen my previous videos. And I will bring up my Tesla earnings projection model. And I have prepped it already to just this one cell that I want to talk about here which I put a little red carrot on that you can see, which means it's got this note that pops up when I hover over it. So the note says $473 million Bitcoin impairment, $38 million of restructuring and layoffs, and 20 million of other hitting this line is what I have estimated for this quarter. Well, maybe you just think of that 38 and 20 together as you know 58 million of restructuring and layoffs. And that'll make it a little bit easier to talk about the Bitcoin impairment. But James, how did you come up with $473 million? Well, I'm glad you asked because that is what this video is about. So I'm going to make a new tab here and I will just call this BTC impairment. Why did I abbreviate uh, Bitcoin and not abbreviate impairment? We don't know. This is a live video, so, you know, yeah, you do what you can. Okay, I'm going to go to the home menu and I'm going to pin my home menu up here so I can do some formatting a little faster that way. So I've plugged in the number 28,814. Why would I do that? Well, this is an input assumption here, so I'm going to put it in a yellow shaded cell with blue font because that is my habit. And I'll just drag that down in case I need some more inputs. For this one, I'm going to call this the prior low. Because to my knowledge, this was the lowest Bitcoin had previously traded at since the time Tesla bought their Bitcoin over a year ago. So I think on June 22nd, 2021, the low was, uh, the previous low was 28,814. Then in this cell, I'm going to type 17,601,58. Why? Because I think that was the Q2 2022 low. All right. Uh, so I think on June 18th, 2022, uh, that was the lowest anyone was able to buy Bitcoin. All right. So what I want to calculate next is not an input. Input. It's just the difference between these two. And I'll explain why I'm doing this. I'll take this off of the fill. And uh, note that this is the per coin impairment charge. I'm just doing this so you can see it's not incredibly difficult to calculate uh, an estimate for how much the Bitcoin impairment charge would be. So if this was the previous low basis that Tesla has reported as of the last quarter that Bitcoin hit a new low price, and if this is the amount Tesla records as the low during Q2, which I believe it was, then for every Bitcoin Tesla owns at the end of Q2 2022, which just ended, uh, they have to take a hit to their um, 
uh, restructuring expense line. So let's see what this is called. It's the restructuring and other. Man, other comes to save the day for finance people so often. Other is a great word. You can use it to define almost anything. Okay, so what's the other thing I need to know to know what the dollar impact would be? Well, I need to know how many coins Tesla owns. I'm going to type in here 42177. And that's not dollars. That is coins owned. Coins owned. That's what that is. And you may have guessed that all we need to do now is to multiply the impairment per coin times the number of coins to arrive at, there it is. Hey, that number is $473 million. Yeah, and change. Uh, I rounded this off to 473 because this is not rocket surgery. Uh, precision is not needed when you're going to be off by many, many millions of dollars, uh, no matter what. So uh, let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm looking at. And I apologize that I did all of that work without zooming in there because uh, that's one of the things that I'm trying to do better at is to make sure these are big enough you can see them. So there you go. This is the Q2 estimate for Bitcoin impairment. And that is how I got there. And I did have some math around the uh, other charge that's going to hit uh, in that same bucket, the restructuring and layoffs. But uh, that is not what this video is about. I want to keep this one short. So uh, I will stop sharing my screen and say, if you've liked this video, you can click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, you could subscribe. And uh, that might be good. Hey. Oh, there I am. What? Come on. <gasps> Did my camera die mid video? Ah, oh, that's terrible. So it had this, okay, so now you're back to the integrated webcam. Awesome. Well, that, that just about ruined my outro. But, but instead of re-recording this video, I will release it anyway, as is. The battery died on my camera. I don't know why the battery died. Uh, it's a new camera. I'll figure it out. Uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, why not go ahead and subscribe to my channel? And uh, I will see you in the next one.